Atomic structure of first 20 elements. We are going to start from the very first element hydrogen. So let's start. Atomic structure of hydrogen. Atomic number of hydrogen is 1. Means it has only one electron. So electronic configuration of hydrogen is 1s1. And this electronic configuration shows that it has only one electron in K shell. So with the help of this electronic configuration, we can easily draw the atomic structure of hydrogen. Atomic structure of hydrogen will be like this. And this structure shows that it has one proton inside the nucleus and one electron around the nucleus in K shell. There is no any neutron in hydrogen atom. Now helium. Atomic structure of helium. Atomic number of helium is 2, means it has 2 electrons. So according to it, electronic configuration of helium is 1s2. And this electronic configuration shows that it has 2 electrons in K shell. So according to this, we can easily draw the atomic structure of helium like this. This structure shows that it has two protons and two neutrons inside the nucleus and two electrons around the nucleus in K shell. In previous lectures of electronic configuration, we have already discussed how do we calculate the number of neutrons. When we subtract atomic number from the mass number, we get the number of neutrons. So in this lecture, we will not calculate the number of neutrons for every element. We will only focus on the atomic structures of elements. You can watch my previous lectures and you can calculate it by yourself with the help of mass number. Now lithium. Atomic structure of lithium. Atomic number of lithium is 3. That shows it has 3 electrons. So according to this electronic configuration of lithium will be 1s2, 2s1. With the help of this electronic configuration, we will draw the atomic structure of lithium. It has three protons and four neutrons inside the nucleus and three electrons around the nucleus. Two electrons in K shell and one electron in L shell. As you know students, maximum accommodation of electrons in K shell is two. So whenever electrons are more than two, they will move to the next higher orbit. And you know we have also already discussed maximum accommodation of electrons in subshells as well. In S subshell maximum accommodation is 2 and in P subshell maximum electrons can accommodate up to 6 and in D 10 electrons can accommodate and in F subshell maximum 14 electrons can accommodate. Now beryllium atomic structure of beryllium atomic number of beryllium is 4 means it has four electrons. So electronic configuration of beryllium will be 1s2 and 2s2. With the help of this electronic configuration, we will draw the structure of beryllium and it will be like this. It has four protons and five neutrons inside the nucleus and four electrons around the nucleus. Two are in K shell and two are in L shell. Now boron. Atomic structure of boron. Atomic number of boron is 5. Means it has 5 electrons. So electronic configuration of boron is 1s2, 2s2 and 2p1. So according to this electronic configuration, atomic structure of boron will be like this. That shows it has 5 protons and 6 neutrons inside the nucleus and 5 electrons around the nucleus. 2 are in K shell and 3 are in L shell. Now carbon. Atomic structure of carbon. Atomic number of carbon is 6. Means it has 6 electrons. And electronic configuration of carbon is 1s2, 2s2 and 2p2. Means in K shell it has 2 electrons and in L shell it has 4 electrons. With the help of this electronic configuration, atomic structure of carbon will be, will be like this. 
that shows it has six protons and six neutrons inside the nucleus and six electrons around the nucleus two are in k shell and four are in l shell nitrogen atomic structure of nitrogen atomic number of nitrogen is seven so it has seven electrons so electronic configuration of nitrogen is 1s2 2s2 2p3 so according to this electronic configuration atomic structure of nitrogen will be like this this structure shows it has seven protons and seven neutrons inside the nucleus and seven electrons around the nucleus two are in k shell and five are in l shell now oxygen atomic structure of oxygen atomic number of oxygen is 8 that shows it has 8 electrons so electronic configuration of oxygen is 1s2 2s2 and 2p4 with the help of this electronic configuration we can easily draw the atomic structure of oxygen that shows it has 8 protons and 8 neutrons inside the nucleus and 8 electrons around the nucleus 2 are in k shell and 6 are in l shell now fluorine atomic structure of fluorine atomic number of fluorine atom is 9 means it has total 9 electrons so electronic configuration of fluorine is 1s2 2s2 and 2p5 atomic structure of fluorine will be it has 9 protons and 10 neutrons inside the nucleus and 9 electrons around the nucleus 2 are in K shell and 5 in L shell. Now neon. Atomic structure of neon. Atomic number of neon is 10 means it has 10 electrons. So electronic configuration of neon is 1s2, 2s2 and 2p6. So with the help of this electronic configuration atomic structure of neon will be like this. That shows it has 10 protons, 10 neutrons inside the nucleus and 10 electrons around the nucleus in which 2 are in K shell and 8 are in L shell. Now sodium. Atomic structure of sodium. Atomic number of sodium is 11 means it has total 11 electrons. So electronic configuration of sodium is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 and 3s1. As we have already discussed Total electrons can accommodate in L shell are 8. If electrons are more than 8, definitely they will move to the next higher orbit. And with respect to the subshell, we have discussed maximum accommodation of electrons in T subshell are 6. If electrons are more than 6, they will move to the next higher orbitals or subshells. So atomic structure of sodium will be like this. That shows it has 11 protons and 12 neutrons inside the nucleus and 11 electrons around the nucleus. 2 are in K shell, 8 are in L shell. Because L shell cannot accommodate more than 8, so one more electron will move to the next higher orbit, M shell. So sodium has one electron in the last M shell. Now magnesium. Atomic number of magnesium is 12 means it has total 12 electrons and electronic configuration of magnesium is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 and 3s2. With the help of this electronic configuration, atomic structure of magnesium is like this. That shows it has 12 protons and 12 neutrons inside the nucleus and 12 electrons around the nucleus. 2 are in K shell, 8 are in L shell and 2 are in M shell. Now, aluminum. Atomic structure of aluminum. Atomic number of aluminum is 13. Means it has 13 electrons. So, electronic configuration of aluminum is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2 and 3p1. With the help of this electronic configuration, we can easily draw the atomic structure of aluminum. That will be like this. It shows it has 13 protons and 14 neutrons inside the nucleus and 13 electrons around the nucleus. 2 are in K shell, 8 are in L shell and 3 are in M shell. Now next element is silicon. Atomic number of silicon is 14 means it has total 14 electrons. 
So electronic configuration of silicon is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2 and 3p2. With the help of this electronic configuration, atomic structure of silicon will be like this. That shows it has 14 protons and 14 neutrons inside the nucleus and 14 electrons around the nucleus. 2 are in K shell, 8 are in L shell and 4 are in M shell. Now next element is phosphorus. Atomic number of phosphorus is 15. Means it has 15 electrons total. An electronic configuration of phosphorus is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2 and 3p3. So atomic structure of phosphorus will be like this. That shows it has 15 protons and 16 neutrons inside the nucleus and 15 protons around the nucleus. And they are arranged like this. 2 are in K shell, 8 are in L shell and 5 are in M shell. Now next element is sulfur. Atomic number of sulfur is 16. Means it has total 16 electrons. So electronic configuration of sulfur is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2 and 3p4. With the help of electronic configuration, we can easily draw the atomic structure of sulfur that is that shows it has 16 protons and 16 neutrons inside the nucleus and 16 electrons around the nucleus. 2 are in K shell, 8 are in L shell and 6 are in M shell. Now next element is chlorine. Atomic number of chlorine is 17. Means it has total 17 electrons. So electronic configuration of chlorine is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2 and 3p5. So with the help of this electronic configuration, the atomic structure of chlorine will be like this. That shows it has 17 protons and 18 neutrons inside the nucleus and 17 electrons around the nucleus. 2 are in K shell, 8 are in L shell and 7 are in M shell. Now the next element is argon. Atomic number of argon is 18. Means it has total 18 electrons. An electronic configuration of argon element is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2 and 3p6. Due to this electronic arrangement, atomic structure of argon is is like this that shows it has 18 protons and 22 neutrons inside the nucleus and 18 electrons around the nucleus in which two are in k shell eight are in l shell and eight are in m shell now the next element is potassium that has atomic number 19 means it has total 19 electrons so electronic configuration of potassium is 1s2 2s2 2p6, 3s2, 3p6 and 4s1. As we have discussed already, p subshell can accommodate only 6 electrons. If electrons are more than 6, they will move to the next higher subshell. And p subshell cannot accommodate more than 6, so we cannot write here 3p7. Right? So we definitely electron will move to the next higher subshell that is the S subshell that is the 4S subshell. So the electronic configuration is like this of potassium and 4S is the subshell of N shell. Atomic structure of potassium will be like this 19 protons and 20 neutrons inside the nucleus and 19 protons around the nucleus. 2 are in K shell, 8 are in L shell and 8 are in M shell and 1 in N shell. Now the last element calcium with the atomic number 20 means it has total 20 electrons. An electronic configuration of calcium is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6 and 4s2. Right? With the help of this, we will draw the atomic structure of calcium that will be like this. It has 20 protons and 20 neutrons inside the nucleus and 20 electrons around the nucleus 
and they are distributed like 2 are in K shell, 8 are in L shell, 8 are in M shell and rest of 2 are in L shell. I hope students you have learned how do we draw the atomic structure of elements. First, you have to understand the electronic configuration, electronic arrangement. And after that, you can easily draw the atomic structure of elements. Do practice and draw it by yourself. With the help of mass number, you can easily calculate the number of neutrons and you can and after that, you can easily draw the atomic structures. Take care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.